So this is the graphic I'm going to convert into high resolution. So I have already created my background layer, the white background layer. So now I'm going to duplicate the cat here, the graphic, duplicate it. So we can see the before and the after. I'm going to hide the top one. So this method works only for black and white images. So now, as you can see, my graphic is transparent. So we need to add the white background to it. So I'm just going to merge it with the background. So here it is. You will need the graphic with the white background. And now go to filters and then blur and then Gaussian blur. And now we need to blur the layer so that the silhouette here of your graphic or logo is smooth. So I'm going to increase the blur by clicking on the plus here. So I'm just going to keep clicking. So I think here it's okay. So I'm going to leave it to 9.5. So here, as you can see, we don't see the pixelize or blur. So now press OK. And now go to colors and then curves. And now if you move the bottom point here to the right, it will increase the black areas here. It will convert the feathering or the blur into black. And if I bring this one here and then move the top one, move it to the left, it will convert the blur or the feathering to white. So here. So now I just need to move the bottom point here to the right and the top one to the left to get the best result. So I'm just going to move them slowly so I can have the best result. So now. Now left click on the GIMP window and then press the plus key on your keyboard to zoom in. Now you can still continue to adjust. So for example, I'm going to move this one here. So I think I'm going to leave it here and now press OK. Now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. Now select the move tool. Now I'm going to move my layer to the left. Hold the control key and move it to the left to move it in a straight line. I think I'm going to move to the right and now Click on this icon here to create a new layer, fill it with transparency and then press OK. Place it under the layers and now fill it with white. And now I'm just going to reveal my first one. So here it is and select the blurred graphic and then move to the left. So here's the result. This is the before. So you can see 